When you look at the American military, many things may come to mind. Hard work, strength, dedication, endurance, teamwork. Many veterans when asked will tell you that the biggest thing they miss about being in the military is the camaraderie that you can't find anywhere else. That's where veteran groups step in and take that lead. Uh, my name's Eric Costello. Uh, in the Army, uh, I'm medically retired. I was a, uh, a member of the Airborne Infantry in the 173rd uh, Station in Italy for most of my time in the Army. Hi, my name is Raleigh Alvarado. I served in the Marines for seven years. Uh, deployed twice to Iraq. Currently, I am uh, affiliated with Team Red, White, and Blue. Honolulu chapter, also aff affiliated with the Wounded Warrior Project, the Mission Continues, and Team Robicon. My name's Alexis Thuro. I'm affiliated with um, having family and um, in the military. My grandpa was a Navy, CB, uncle, cousin, our Air Force, and um, being a when I first got here, um, May 2015, and uh, I kind of hit the ground running when I, when I got out. I uh, had a lot of things to fix since I had been retired out of Italy. It's not really a place you're intended to ETS from. Uh, so when I got here, uh, even though I wasn't part of the unit, I had to fix a lot of uh, basically my outgoing paperwork here. Uh, so that ended up getting me to run in with, with these guys here. I was, I was directed uh, to the Veterans Center pretty much right off the bat, I think within my first three months of being here uh, outside of the Army, like right once I got off of terminal leave. I actually waited a while. Um, it must have been about three years, you know, in 2010. And so about 2013 is when I uh, actually joined a uh, organization. I teach the yoga and then giving back and, and seeing the results of that, it was a um, nice way for me to see and give my way of serving and providing as the veterans have served. I say the most important thing about it to me is the sense of place. Um, it didn't take very long after being out of the military to realize that that's, that was something that I felt like I was missing already. Obviously, military communities, we have a, not only do we have a really solid sense of purpose, but we have a, a really well foundationally built sense of place. Uh, so when I came down here and I met uh, a lot of the guys that work here, I kind of had found that sense of place outside of the military. I know that I gained a little bit of, uh, I think it's depending on the organization that you, you join, but so when I joined, I gained a little bit of that. Miss, missing piece when you get out of the military was is that um, that connection with other um, veterans or other people that have the same mindset. So I get I gained that, uh, and then uh, and then more information and then knowledge about what's available, what's going on in the community. I see. As, it might sound funny, but I see them standing taller, more confident. Um, they have this presence of this happiness, not to say that they weren't happy before, um, but I see outgoing, I see this, I mean, I guess in yoga they call it this aura, but it's a presence, it's this type of character that comes out that they always had, but now they're more comfortable in showing that. So I've seen that success personality-wise, but um, physically I see more of the range of motion, the health benefit, and I think that they feel that, which keeps them coming back for more of the yoga and the therapy. I think that it definitely benefits you to do it, uh, just to get you connected to the community you had in the military, outside of the military. Uh, because, especially in the world of combat arms where I came from, most of us who get out, we we end up sitting in this liminal space where we never fully transition from soldier to civilian. And everybody that's in these organizations is generally sharing that same space. Uh, so, number one, you're not alone in it. You're with like-minded people uh, sharing similar experience and, and worldview. And I think that's probably the most important thing about it. Uh, it's just incredibly beneficial for us to be around, you know, the, the the culture that we've invested ourselves in. 
do it. I, I'd say that one of the uh, key uh, thing that, that a lot of service members um, miss uh, after getting out is that uh, that camaraderie, that connection that you had with other service members when you were still in. And so when you get out, you lose all of that. And so you start going through some sort of um, loss um, in, in what you're trying to do, who you are. And so loss of identity. And so if you're on the fence of joining a, a veteran service organization, um, I'd say do it. Uh, don't, don't hesitate, just get in there. And, and, uh, and, and reconnect with your brothers and sisters uh, because I believe that camaraderie uh, is going to be a big part of being able to transition back in, or transition into a place of um, comfort. There's multiple different communities and organizations. Um, research them, find out. Um, if you're not a physical person where you don't want to do the yoga, you don't want to run, or you don't want to do that, but you have that talent and skill that you've had from the military, whether you were a mechanic, electrician, or your talented skill, we have other organizations that um, put those skills out there for you. So when you come back out of being deployed or out of being in the military as a veteran, you want to still use those skills those organizations can find that, whether it's rebuilding a house or whether it's helping um, to even just paint a school. Those skills are cleaning up a road and being joined together with a community, it brings that involvement where you feel like, oh, okay, I'm still using what I'm good at. I'm still, I don't want to use the word worthy, but sometimes that, that makes you feel like, oh, I'm important. I have my skills that I can share with others and teach others. So it gives us that feeling. So I would definitely research which organizations you want. Do you want to be, go to the physical? Do you want to go with just a community and the social gathering? Or do you want to continue to branch out with your skills or all of the three? 